So how you doing? So I'm gonna show you anybody with firmware under 5.0 and you're having problems using your Kodi, I'm gonna show you the solution. So let's start. Go to the Play Store on your device. Open the Play Store. Let me come closer. Type in S. Okay. S. Make sure everything. So you're going to type in. Wait one second. S P M C you see there S P M C you install S P M C From the Play Store, you install SPMC on your device. Wait till it is installing right now. So this is anybody who have a device with firmware underneath 5.0. And having problems with the Cody right now, and you it's not working, and you can't get on to any add-ons. Is because it most of the developers went into the new firmware, so the new firmware is six point zero. But you can still wait. This this is called a fork. SPMC is a fork of Kodi, so it's giving you a chance. If you don't want to upgrade your box, if you don't want to purchase a new box, but you want to still use your old box by downloading SPMC, you can use the device still. We even though you have a look. A, a older firmware like 4.4 .4, anything under 5.1 or 5.0 so let's just wait until they install because most of the developers encoded the third-party developers upgraded their software for the new firmware but the forks allows you to watch all the movies and TV shows that you want. So once you download the new SPMC, you open it. There it goes. As you see, I'm preparing for the first run. Please wait. So you're just being patient. Let it install. So XPMC is being installed on your device. Okay. So now you have XPMC on your device. So come to the little circle right here. 
you hit uh, that's really settings and you come over here the let's go back let me show you again so once let's go back one more time let's do it again so once XPMC is totally downloaded and you go, go into XPMC you come to this circle right here you hit OK come to the eight lines over here you hit OK come to add source you hit OK and enter the path or browser for the media location come to none and enter H T T P I'm doing this with one hand so be, bear with me colon file slash wrong one file slash file slash fusion F U S I O N dot T V A D D O N S dot A G and you come over here hit OK come down enter a name for this media source come here enter TV TV A D D O N S come back over here hit enter and hit OK so you come down here to the arrow you hit OK then you go over here to the little puzzle looking icon you hit OK and you go over you come over here and install from zip file you hit OK and you name the TV add-ons so you hit OK and begin here you see where it says begin here you hit OK and plugin.programs.intego slash 1.0.4 zip you hit, hit it and we install it that's the intego zip file so you come here to the arrow you hit OK you hit OK again and come over here to programs you hit OK wait and you see where it says intego on top you hit intego and let it say it's working and now it's installing the program you need just be patient okay so you come to the config wizard the first one you hit OK on that and please confirm that you wish to automatically configure Kodi with all the best add-ons and tweaks so you install it let's install I'm going to leave it live so you can see what's going on
is installing and configuring all the add-ons and all the dependencies that you need to run the Kodi add-ons from here. And this is used for any device that's very old that has the firmware underneath under 5.0. So this is what how you get around having an old device and you can watch the same movies and TV shows. So let, I'm just going to keep it on for the real life time. So it's 73%, 74. And this is how you get around the dependencies for Cody if you have a box a very old box that has a firmware underneath 5.0 so let's just wait it's still downloading and configuring Yeah. If you have any questions, please contact me, Victor at VP Text. But I also have updated boxes. But if you choose not to get an updated box and you still want to use your old box, this is how you get around the dependencies to have. To use your um, box because most developers with Kodi went into the new firmware and the new firmware is 6.0 and 7.1 yeah, I do have boxes and such but if you choose not to this is the best way to get around it by using this fork So yes, I'm running this a live time, so it may take a while. So please stay with this video. Don't fast forward with it. You may miss something that you need. And remember, once you type in fusion.tvaddons.com, sorry, TV Addons. Fusion.tvion.ag Type it in as I say it. Or if you miss a word, miss a spelling, slow down the video, stop the video, and make sure you type just the way I spelled it. And every word and every letter is the same. So it's 92%. 93 Okay, 99 100 Okay You hit okay because it installs complete 
Click OK to exit Kodi and then restart to complete. You click OK. It's restarting Kodi. It's restarting so you can get out of this by just going to the home. So you can go to menu, my apps, go to my apps, you see XPMC right there, or go to XPMC, open XPMC, i uh, show you a trick to put the Confluence face skin back on. So you see, let me show you that it does have all the add-ons there. Hit video add-ons. Video and video add-ons. And you see all the, the add-ons here. So just come down here, hit the arrow, hit the arrow again, and you come back to the circle. So you're here. Go to appearance, skin, So you hit scan and then you choose confluence. And you see, would you like to keep this change? You say yes. And let just hit, hit return. Hit return. And you see, it's totally different now. To get rid of the scrolling bar at the bottom, you go to system. Settings, appearances, come over and show RSS news feed is blue right now. You just unclick it and you can see it's not there no more. I will show you video and this is the first time you're using it so it will say first run help say okay come down to video add-ons hit okay and you see everything is there And see all the add-ons there that you need. So if you have any questions, please contact me, Victor VP Text. Thank you.